Yeah, prior to working with remote staff, I worked as an SEO specialist with a local BPO company here in Albay. So the company was focused on getting clients from the United States um, and they cater to various industries from automotive to fashion. And then I almost worked with that company for four years. They're actually more focused on the U.S. market. Yes. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. I see. It's more general. Not really. They're not really local. They're. Uh -huh. um, the client I'm currently working with is in the digital marketing sphere. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, what was your mm -hmm. first impression working with this client? Um, my first impression, um, for me, um, the first word that basically came to my mind when I was asked, um, when you asked this question is creativity. Mm -hmm. They just have that, um, um, they just have that um, drive to look for creative ways in doing their digital marketing efforts for their clients. Um, apart from working away from them, because I am working remotely, mm -hmm. um, one of the challenges I believe, um, with my role in the team is being creative, being creative basically, because I have to really catch up to them. And sometimes it's hard because I am not physically working with them. So I have to like be creative as well and really catch up to um, their requirements, especially with the, with the tasks that I would get from them. So yeah, I think um, working remotely and being creative are basically one of the challenge, basically among the challenges that mm -hmm. I have with my role in the team. Um, apart from the fact that I love doing SEO or what I really love about the company is basically the same thing that challenges me with the role in the team. And that is creativity. Because, um, because with creativity, like I said, um, it is hard for me to be creative, but at the same time, with that, um, with that in mind, I want to push myself in becoming better mm -hmm. hence i get driven i am driven to like learn new things and not be afraid to like take on new tasks from them and just um take on things like on a day-to-day -day basis basically in terms of the tasks and during that i mean during my the work hours that i have that's basically the mindset that I have. Mm -hmm. And after work, that drive, that drive for creativity um, helps me to look for ways on how to improve myself by basically um, trying to learn new things through online tutorials and other methods of learning online that I could get my hands on. Yeah, the main objective of my role is to basically assist the team in their digital marketing tasks. And the ideal outcome would be the completion of the task before their due date. So yeah, that's, that's that basically. So work within a team, yes, I work within a team, um, but I think um, in the search and content marketing department, I think I'm the only one who's working remotely. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, uh, I'm basically alone mm -hmm. here in the Philippines, um, but I work with a team um, in Australia and they are mixed. Mm -hmm. um, some are Polish, British, Aussie, and I'm not sure about the others, but they are 
pretty much a mix. Um, I pretty much use the tools that I am provided with, such as Screaming Frog, Samurash, um, Ahrefs, if I pronounce it correctly, Harvest for project tracking, and Asana, mm -hmm. and HubSpot, and other, other tools, basically. Mm, okay, um, my typical working day starts especially, of course, 7 a.m. I turn on the tracker, um, open Slack and Chrome. Mm -hmm. So when I open Chrome, I would um, immediately check my emails and I would open Asana to see um, the current tasks that I have. And if I have like an ongoing task, I would return to it immediately. And if I am starting a new one, then I would run a new timer in Harvest. Mm -hmm. So, and basically the rest of the day will be spent on um, the current tasks that I have, or if there's like an urgent task that I've been given, um, I work on it immediately. Mm -hmm. And by the end of the day, I basically um, post an update, um, my task update in Slack, just for the team to see what I've been doing the whole day. And so sometimes they would respond to it, and sometimes they won't, but I understand why um, they're unable to um, respond to it since they're all busy um, being in meetings and other tasks, maybe. What I love about this role is because I get to do SEO and I, I just love doing SEO and I, I can't see myself really um, not doing it. So that's basically it. I mean, I enjoy SEO a lot. Um, as long as they need me, I suppose. So yeah, as long as they need me. Uh, yes, I am. Um, right now, given the situation that we have at the moment, um, I believe there are advantages and disadvantages in working remotely. But um, one of the advantages that I see is to basically the, the savings that you have you, that, that you get to have because you don't have to commute you don't have to buy new clothes every other time um, and you don't have to buy food from like fast food chains or other expensive restaurants um, with your office mates so yeah the main is the main advantage of working from home is basically the money that you get to save because right. that could really add to you know um, the financial stability that you can give for your family mm -hmm. um, especially now so it's really really a huge deal that I'm able to save um, enough money uh, it's not basically enough, but um, sufficient, sufficient financial um, support for my family. So it's really, really um, helpful and really beneficial. I see. Um, as for the disadvantages, um, it's basically working remotely, like being on your own working and not having to talk to someone like you can go to your go to the um, the workstation of your office mate to to talk to chat. Um, you don't have that physical really like that physical connection with your office mates. So I think that's one of the disadvantages that I see in working um, remotely. Remote staff.
Empowering Remote Working Relationships.